Let's talk food. Food! We love food. Food! I do love food. Do you love food? We want to be an inspiration to you guys as far as good eating habits. Does it mean that we're vegan? No. Does it mean that we're low carb eaters only? Not at all. I try to stay away from dairy. I love cheese. The only cream or milk that I have is when I have coffee. I have coffee once a day. I used to never drink coffee, remember that? I drink coffee once a day in the morning and I have to have it with cream. I don't have it with sugar. Now, do I love sugar? I love sugar. But I'm trying to cut down to the point where I don't add sugar to anything anymore. Even my desserts, I add sweetener like stevia, truvia, stuff like that. The thing with stevia, 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 stevia. The thing with stevia is that even though it's not sugar from sugar cane, it's still plant-based. So your body reacts to it as if it were sugar. Does that make sense? Um, I know it's crazy, right? Yeah, your body, according to my research, your body reacts to stevia the same way as it would sugar, white sugar, processed sugar. Even though I do use it for my baked goods now, I want you guys to know that, I want you guys to know that your body does react to it as if it were sugar. So some people say, well, I'm gonna smoke some sugar. That's your choice. I love vegan dishes. I love vegetarian dishes. But I'm a meat eater. I love meat. Pork, beef. I love chicken. I love fish. But I do love vegan dishes. We have um, quite a few on, on this profile. So check those out. We like low carb. You know, we're getting older. I said we. I said we. We're getting older. And so our body's reacting differently to certain things. And so that's why we're trying to um, cut out dairy and sugar. Shout out to my cutting boards with all that cheese. You know, the funny thing is I'm lactose intolerant. I really am. When I was uh, 15, when I was 15, um, they took me to the, to the hospital because I was like vomiting and vomiting from other areas of my body. I was really sick. I was on the toilet. They took me to the hospital and they told me that I'm lactose intolerant. And my mother said, oh my God, you know, you can't drink milk anymore. Said, no, he didn't say I was milk intolerant. He said I was lactose intolerant. I was 15. I thought it was impossible for me to be lactose intolerant. Why? I was that kid that drank milk out of the carton. I didn't drink soda. I didn't drink Kool-Aid. I didn't drink, you know, sugary stuff. I loved milk. I thought if you cut my veins, milk will come out, not blood. That's how much I drank milk. I used to get in trouble. Who drank all the milk? Who drank all the milk? God damn it, who drank the milk? So I was that kid. I did react to ice cream and cheese, which I love. I love cheese. I would get reaction to it, but not enough to stop me. I do have Jerry cream in my coffee almost every day, but um, I cut down the sugar. I don't put sugar out, I put cream in other things. You know, fitness, mm. fitness, is 95% food. Did you know that? I found that out a couple of years back. It is, it's not about who has the best abs. That's not fitness. That's an aesthetic. A aesthetic, aesthetic, a aesthetic, aesthetic, Aesthet aesthetic. That's an aesthetic to have six pack abs and have a, a, you know, a waist size 32, you know, when you're over 22. Um, it's an aesthetic. It looks good. It looks nice. It's not, necessarily healthy it's not necessarily fit so when you figure out that 95 percent of fitness is food it'll change your whole mindset you'll start eating better again we have meatless mondays or meatless maltes or meatless miércoles or just any day of the week um, we love vegan meals we love tofu we love um, plant-based protein but we love our meats. So, you know, we're trying to cut out the bloating. So white flour and white flour products, we're trying to eliminate altogether. So now my mac and cheese has chickpea elbow macaroni. Trying to cut down potatoes, white rice. So we're trying to stay away from all those white devils. No, 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 this is not a, one of those videos. We're trying to stay away from those white carbs. So just check out this profile you'll see some good ideas i've lost weight i've gained muscle 
without doing anything differently except my food. I always cooked good, good, good food, but now I'm cooking good food better. Does that make sense? I'm making good food a little bit better, a little bit healthier. I use coconut oil now for everything, even though it's expensive. I use coconut oil for everything. I don't know how I live without it. We drink a lot of coconut milk now. We used to drink almond milk, but almond milk is really almonds soaked in water. And so that water is what you're drinking as milk. But coconut milk is actually milk from coconuts. So that's a little bit more nutritionally sound. Nutritionally, nutritionally, nutritionally sound. When you know better, you do better. Have a great, great, great holiday, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Peace. Viva Darchi. See ya.